Permanently grounded and parked atop the parapet of Winston Bridge is placed a bronze Spitfire replica. It was commissioned and installed by the local authority to commemorate the 1988 flight beneath the single 110-foot arch of the bridge below for the television series A Piece of Cake. This Second World War television series storyline required the Spitfire to fly, at 250 miles an hour, under the bridge at just above river level. The pilot who carried out this amazing flight was Ray Hanna, former leader of the Red Arrows, a hugely experienced pilot, flight filming specialist and owner of the authentic 1943 Spitfire which was used for this Winston Bridge sequence. In putting together this story of his amazing achievement for the Winston Church website, we spoke to his daughter Sarah, who recalls the difficulty and level of pilot skill required. My father was a complete aviator and a consummate professional. I think with the Winston Bridge event, it was part of the book. It was put to him as being something that was required for the filming. Having selected the bridge, he would have gone down there and analysed it and assessed it, and they'd have looked at the river, they'd have looked at the bend leading up to the river, but it would have been looked at from his perspective as the professional and exemplary pilot that he was. A few of the trees were trimmed up, some of the growth in the middle of the river was organised, and off he went. On the day itself, my father told the director and the crew they were going to get only one go at it. You have to bear in mind, the aperture at its widest point of the bridge is about 111 feet, or what we would now call 34 meters. And a Spitfire is 37 feet across its wingspan, or just over 11 meters. And at a closing speed of 250 miles per hour, that makes the widest point of the bridge, which after all is at the very bottom of the bridge where the water is and the rocks are and everything else. Not, not a particularly comfortable opening through which to put an aeroplane of that size. My brother was there. My brother was running the chute for the flying for a piece of cake and he had a perch at the top of the bridge with a handheld Why radio. Like so he then me. observed my father coming in and the aircraft approached, pulled up quite steeply, then turned away and he came back, came down the river again, pulled up again, and then returned third time. He knew when my father had committed, as, as you would probably have seen, not just from the filming, but also the brilliant photographs that were taken by the guy who was capturing it for the Northern Echo that day, quite how low the aeroplane then went. I mean, it was literally a couple of feet off the riverbed as it passed through the gap that is the bridge and out the other side. And my brother said he damn nearly fainted because the combination of seeing this aeroplane coming towards the bridge at the speed that it was and knowing it's your father and the noise and the vibration through the stone of the bridge was phenomenal, apparently when he was quite a young man. He was flying exceedingly low level all over Germany, over all these iconic uh, structures. And that was something that was drummed into him on pretty much a daily basis. Of course, he enjoyed the challenge, but he wasn't a thrill seeker. It was more a, a practical test of his abilities. You have to remember that this was a man who performed to an A star star plus rather than just giving a straight A. I think if the aeroplane could characterize itself, it would not characterize itself as an antique. It's very much a, uh, a living piece of machinery. If he thought it was a rust bucket, he wouldn't get into it. Reasonably, I can't really foresee why this aeroplane shouldn't be flying many years after 
I've shuffled off my coil. I don't think it'll be repeated. <laughs>